Welcome back. Thanks so much for checking out my second video on ways that you can divide. All right, let's get right down to business. You've already seen this word problem in my first video, so you do technically know the answer, but I want to see if maybe this method is helpful for you. Okay, let's read it again. There are four buses coming to pick up the fourth graders for their field trip. If there are 168 fourth graders, how many students will be on each bus? Great. We've already talked about the, excuse me, base 10 model. What we're going to talk about today is the area model of division. That might ring a bell or might be familiar for multiplication. We've also talked about an area model for multiplication, but today we're doing the division. So we're going to circle again our important words, or numbers, excuse me, and we're going to underline the heart of the problem, what it's really asking for. It's asking for students in each bus, so that means really it's asking for groups. Okay, what we do when we do the area model for division is we're going to make a t-chart. My t-chart needs to help me with fours, be with the four number, I guess I should say, because we're putting four as the groups we want. So four, will go outside here. It's how many buses they're going to be. If you remember from class, when I have you do the area model, I have you divide this rectangle into three parts. It's not because I have three buses, it's because I have three place values. Hundreds, tens, ones. Remember, if you're using this method, you need to leave yourself enough room for the answers that will go in between. Okay, what we're going to start with is we're going to start with the hundreds portion or right here. We always start with the biggest place value for division. So we're going to look at the hundreds place. And remember what we're doing. We're looking at four buses or four equal groups. My job is to figure out how many hundreds can I pull out and put into each equal group. Let's see if we can find that answer together. Okay, so we've got the hundreds. Let's start with just 100. Do I have enough to give 100 to each group. Well, 100 times 4, you know from your hundreds trick, is 400. Does it look like I even have close to 400? No. There's no way I can give 100 to each group. If that's the case and I have no hundreds, I'm going to write 168 and there's nothing I can do. I have no hundreds. Remember, we use subtraction in division. So for my hundreds, I can't even do this. I can't even do 100. So I'm going to put a zero in the hundreds place. There's nothing I can do. No one gets hundreds. Sad day. But we do have tens that we can move on to now the tens place. So I want you to draw a big line to separate the hundreds place and now we're looking at the tens. Okay, let's just start with one ten. Ten times four is forty. Do I have enough to bring out forty? Let's move this into the tens place because we decided we have nothing left. We can't move it. Remember 168 Minus zero is always 168 because we took nothing away. If there's nothing to do in the hundreds, let's at least go over and try it in the tens. Okay, so 10 times 4 is 40. Do I have enough to give each group 40? Yeah, for sure, because 168 is how many students I'm working with, and this is showing only 40 students divided out. Let's try 20. 20 times 4 is 80. I think I can keep going because it's not even close to 168. Let's try 30. 30 times 4. 
3 times 4 is 12, plus 1 more zero, 120. I'm getting closer. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer. Let's try 40 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16, plus 1 zero at the end is 160. Okay, that is so close. We're going to stop there. We're going to use this number, and any time you're going to use it, I need you to circle it so you don't forget it. That means I have 40 tens, so I put the answer there, and 40 times 4 is 160. We need to subtract these two numbers to see how many ones I'm going to be left with. 8 minus 0 is 8, 6 minus 6 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0. So now I have only the ones place left, and like I did earlier, I'm going to move the 8 into the ones place and see how many ones I can pull out. This is where you would do the ones t-chart, the type of t-chart you've always been doing. I think I'm going to run out of room, but you know how you would do this. 0, 1, 2, 0 times 4 is 0, 1 times 4 is 4, 2 times 4 is 8. Fortunately, I have just enough room that I can circle the 2 times 4 is 8. Here's what I want you to just think about 8 and 8 need to match up because we were looking for a number closest to 8 and we found it. So that's why you put the 8 inside of the box and we had to use a 2 to multiply times 4. So 8 minus 0 is nothing. There's no students remaining, which is a good thing because we want every student to get on a bus. So I have 0 hundredths, 40 tens, 2 ones. What's 40 plus 2? 42. This gave me the answer or the quotient telling me 42 kids need to be on each bus. This is just simply another method of how we do it. And I would love to hear your feedback. Is this something that's helpful for you or is it not? Maybe look at it again. It's been a while. It's been almost a week since we learned this. So watch it again if it didn't quite make sense. And if you still want a little more help tomorrow, I'd be glad to explain it to you because I learned this last year. When I was a kid, no one taught me how to do it this way. So I would be more than happy to help you if you need my help again. Thanks for watching.